Target, Roots, Cineplex Theatres, and a portfolio of the top office buildings in Canada. Some of the tenants of the Prime Canadian Property Fund, the latest investment by the Actor Fraternal Benefit Society. As every Canadian knows, banks pay next to nothing for money on deposit. Guaranteed investment certificates and even government bonds aren't much better, less than 2% at best. Commercial real estate, office buildings, industrial and retail are now part of the portfolio of the Actor Fraternal Benefit Society. AFBS has hired Bentall Kennedy to manage $40 million that was once invested in bonds. A sizable bond portfolio remains in place. What type of buildings do you invest in? The prime portfolio is made up of a number of different types of assets. Uh, it consists of office buildings in the downtown core and in the suburban markets. It also consists of retail assets, uh, mostly food anchored strip plazas like the ones you would find in your neighborhood driving home, and it consists of uh, industrial buildings, mostly warehousing assets that uh, house uh, materials and goods to be shipped uh, both across Canada and to the United States. Uh, they are um, generally characterized as A-class buildings. The prime portfolio consists largely of newer generation buildings. Uh, it consists largely of those types of assets that would be attractive to the best quality of tenants in Canada. Commercial real estate is never a sure thing. There was a bust in Canada in 1991, but that seems to have taught commercial real estate developers a lesson. Unlike the condo market, where there's been overbuilding, commercial construction is steady. That has meant solid returns. The Prime Canadian Property Fund has a one-year return of 10.31%, a three-year return of 11.99%, a five-year return of 6.45%, and that includes the 2009 recession, and a 10-year return of 12.26%. There is a small management fee. The property portfolio is split among three provinces, Ontario, British Columbia and Alberta, with a small slice in Quebec. You're invested in Ontario, Alberta uh, and British Columbia. Why is that? The portfolio consists largely of assets in those three markets, as you suggest, largely because those are the three markets where Canada's population is principally based. Uh, we have a big position in Toronto, we have a big position in Vancouver, as you mentioned, and in Calgary. We also have a big position in Edmonton, uh, and we have some assets more recently that we've been able to purchase in Quebec, uh, in, in the city of Montreal. So um, we are where the population of Canada is. Office buildings make up 39% of the holdings, retail 32%, and industrial buildings 23%. The list of top tenants includes the Toronto Dominion Bank, General Electric, Cineplex Theatres and Acon Construction. The Prime Canadian Property Fund owns 55 buildings worth $2.6 billion. That's 13.5 million square feet of leasable space. To give you an idea of how much that is, that's 310 acres or 154 football fields and 149 of those football fields are fully rented. That, in real estate speak, is an occupancy rate of 96.3%, and that takes a lot of the risk out of property investment. This is Fred Lankin reporting.